Nothing is more desirable in Valorant than having good aim, but somehow this seemingly simple concept of clicking at an enemy's head is actually insanely complicated. To make matters more difficult, there are multiple aiming styles that a player could use, all of which work when the right play style is used by the right player. One of the most unique pros in the Valorant scene is none other than Asuna. When you think of flashy players, Asuna almost always comes to mind. This young talent swept the Valorant scene by storm with his particular style of play. With him being a zoomer, it's only natural that he has some insane aiming mechanics, along with the desire to make his style unique and eye-catching. Now, being flashy isn't required to be a good Valorant player, but it certainly can help. And don't forget all the snazzy highlight clips you can get out of this style of play. You're sure to impress your friends while also working towards becoming a Radiant player yourself. So, without further ado, let's break down Asuna's aiming style and see how you can make it your own. Before we get into it, this video is just a glimpse of what we can offer you. If you want a full detailed guide on how to improve in Valorant, then you want to check out our website over at Skillcapped. More on that at the end of the video. First and foremost, what makes Asuna's aim style so unique is his sensitivity. Most pro players play with an EDPI of around 200. For example, one of the best current players is Ye, who has an EDPI of 216. EDPI stands for Effective Dots Per Inch, which basically stands for your in-game sensitivity multiplied by your mouse's DPI. Knowing this value is important, it allows you to copy the exact sensitivity settings of a player regardless of what DPI they're on. Asuna isn't like most pros that play on a low EDPI though. Asuna plays with a DPI of 1400 and a sensitivity of 0.272. Multiply these two values for an EDPI of 380, which is nearly double that of a standard pro. Now, what does this higher sensitivity entail? With a higher sensitivity, you don't have to move your mouse as much to cover the same amount of ground as someone with a lower sensitivity. The biggest advantage of this is it's easier for you to make large flick shots and adjustments, particularly if you have a relatively small mouse pad, you'll want to try Asuna's sensitivity. If you play a low sensitivity on a small pad, you'll probably run out of room when you go for big flicks, and well, you'll probably be in trouble at that point. Along with that, if you're a player that likes to charge in and constantly flick their mouse around the map, a higher sensitivity will be more suitable and a little more comfortable for you to do so. Asuna is a player that just likes to dive in and get into the enemy's faces. That means he's usually the first player to get onto sites and has to flick around different areas to clear angles. A faster sensitivity makes it a lot quicker and easier for him to do this. Let's dive a little bit deeper into Asuna's fast-paced flicking style. In this clip, we have Asuna in a 1v3 situation is Jet. The first kill is a pretty standard op shot, but from there, the fun begins. Asuna hears another player run from sight, and their position is now unknown. That leaves him with two enemies he doesn't know the location of. He has multiple angles that he has to clear out. To make himself a harder target to hit, he dashes onto the site with his knives and starts to float in the air. Here's where high sensitivity is king. Let's count the number of times Asuna flicks over to a choke point. He goes from elbow to hell, then hell, back to sight, to tower, then back to elbow, before going back to sight again. In a matter of seconds, he's cleared multiple angles, and some of them twice, to check for a late lurker. This kind of angle clearing is near impossible with a low sensitivity. Not to mention, if a player was in one of these angles, another flick would likely be required to kill him. This is how Asuna tends to play Valorant, run into the enemy, and fast clear angles. You'll see in several of his highlight clips, he's constantly flicking around the screen looking for enemies to kill. When those enemies appear, he'll make another micro adjustment to snag the headshot. If you find yourself playing a similar fast paced style, going for a higher sensitivity like Asuna would be suitable for you. Now we do want to note, this is a hard style to play. However, there are players, such as myself, who are better at landing flick shots compared to quote unquote easier shots. Where you don't have to move your mouse as much. As an operator main myself, I personally find it way easier to land a flick shot than trying to land a shot where I just leave my crosshair in place and wait for the enemy to run into it. If you have a similar experience, definitely give higher sensitivity a try and work on playing aggressively like Asuna, where you're charging in and clearing everything for your team. Now, with that being said, there is a method to the madness. While Asuna might appear like he's just flicking randomly all over the place, each move he makes is actually carefully thought out. This clip is a prime example. Asuna spots a player back sight and throws a slow orb to limit their movement. Now with a mobility advantage, he goes for the peak to eliminate the enemy KO. From there, a TP can be heard indicating a player near Hookah. Unsure of the second player's location, Asuna walls himself off to safely plant the spike. 
he immediately throws another slow orb near Hookah, knowing a player would probably be there. Asuna immediately peeks afterwards, knowing he has to find a 1v1 duel to clutch this round. And that is exactly what he gets. With this location revealed, Asuna immediately backs up to change his angle while healing. He also jumps to gather information on the last player. A teammate calls out that they were also around Hookah, so Asuna holds the tight angle from backside. He eventually does a short peek, and with minimal effort, he's able to snag the frag with that tight angle crosshair placement. If you plan to play this fast flicking style like Asuna, make sure you're able to think quickly on your feet. Don't just run in there like a madman and hope you'll land some nasty shots all with luck. Even though Asuna always appears to be on the move, each one of his moves does have a purpose. Whether that's to reposition himself, take control of an area, or to clear out angles quickly, Asuna is carefully analyzing the situation and picking the best solution to outmaneuver his enemies. Have a purpose for every move you make, otherwise you're just running around like a headless chicken. And this includes using an ability to block off vision, repositioning quickly after a duel so your location stays unknown, or quickly dismissing after a kill to avoid getting traded. These are just a few examples to list off. When you're making plays and watching another player make a play, try to think about the why behind each move that's made. Following that up, despite the high sensitivity and seemingly nasty flick shots, Asuna actually takes his time when hitting his shots. The popular belief is these players are accurately flicking onto their targets in one swift move. In most cases, the reality is that these players still require a small amount of micro-adjusting before they can fire their shots. Let's play through this Reyna 4K first. Now, at first glance, it seems like Asuna is just flicking over from one target to another, landing consecutive headshots onto the enemies, in a matter of seconds, everybody's dead. While Asuna is flicking over from target to target, the accuracy of these flicks isn't as high as you might think. For example, after killing Viper, Asuna flicks over to Sova, but his initial adjustment is actually too high, causing him to have to quickly adjust his crosshair down before he fires his shot. When he flicks over to Chamber for the final kill, his crosshair this time around ends up too low. He has to adjust his crosshair a second time before firing so he gets the headshot. Truth is, landing flick shots off one swipe is extremely hard. Not even the pros can do it consistently in one go, and most of the time, they have to adjust their crosshair one more time before firing. Now, this second adjustment happens in a matter of milliseconds, so it's really hard to notice at first glance. Unless the enemy's really close, where the chances of error are low, pros won't shoot immediately after flicking their mouse over. They take an extra few moments to ensure their crosshair is where it needs to be before shooting. This is a big factor that differentiates a top-tier player from a low-tier player. High-ranked players are going to ensure their shots are going to hit before they shoot, while a lower-ranked player might shoot immediately when they see an enemy. Only after they shoot, they try to correct their aim, but now they have to control recoil as well, which makes things a little more difficult. The first player to shoot doesn't always win if they're not aiming properly. When going into your DMs and matches, think about taking that extra moment to see if your crosshairs actually line up with the enemy before firing. If done correctly, you'll notice yourself landing way more shots with less bullets and spraying required. This is what Asuna does, despite having a high sensitivity that makes him appear like he's just flicking exactly on target. Now, what's more impressive than a nice flick shot? How about multiple flick shots, also known as spray transfers? Asuna has one of the best spray transfers in the game particularly in contribution to his sensitivity and flashy playstyle. Because Asuna is so used to rapidly moving around his crosshair when pushing sights and choke points, he's more accustomed to doing the same thing when transitioning from one enemy to another. Asuna also tends to use the Phantom more often than most pros, which has easier to control recoil, therefore better spray transfer capabilities than the Vandal. The reason for this is he tends to push up close with the enemy. In these shorter ranges, the Phantom will deal more damage while also having more bullets, and easier to control spray transfers if there were to be multiple enemies to kill. Although Asuna has been playing more initiators lately, he does still play a fair amount of duelists where he is the first one on to site. And when being the first man in, there's a good chance he'll end up facing more than one player. And if those players are good, they'll have a setup where they can assist each other, putting you at a disadvantage. With good utility, such as a flash from your teammates or yourself though, you can make these situations winnable. But you'll have to spray the enemies down quickly before the utility wears off. And this is where spray transfers come in, which Asuna is insanely good at doing due to his playstyle and aim. A good way to practice spray transfers is get into the training range and spawn multiple bots. Pick two bots, then work on spraying down one bot and immediately flicking over to the second. 
work through closer distances first before transitioning to larger distances. Don't go crazy far with this though. In most scenarios, the distance you'll have to transfer over to isn't going to be massive, so keep this in mind as you practice. A quick tip to help you out here is make sure you're aiming lower than you normally would when you transfer to the second bot. This is to help control the recoil and ensure you're still hitting the head after spraying a couple of bullets. And that is all we have for today's video. We hope today's guide gave you a few new tips and tricks on how to play a highly aggressive aim style like Asuna. And that's going to do it for us today. As always, we here at Skillcapped want to thank you all for watching, and we will catch you in the next one.